Hey guys, this is Julio with Tint Action of Utah. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on this video. You're gonna love what we did with this Tesla Model Y. And the reason we wanted to make this is to show you guys uh, what things to expect when you're getting these services done, whether it's here at our shop or at another shop. So it's more of an informational video. It's to educate you guys on the difference between a good job and a great job. Um, it's not a short video. It's a little bit over 20 minutes but it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know step-by-step step when it comes to doing paint protection film, uh, window tint, or if you wanted to get your emblems wrapped, your center console, or maybe a couple of other things. Uh, sometimes my Tesla clients call me, we spend 15, 20 minutes on the phone, sometimes even 40 minutes, and I love it because it shows me the passion that they have for their vehicles. So I think it's a perfect combination. My Tesla customers love their vehicle, huge passion for it. They want to get educated. They ask a bunch of questions. And on the other side, we love what we do. We have a huge passion for our installation and our products too. Uh, that's why I made this video. Check it out. Let us know what you think. And then uh, if you have any questions, put it on the comments. Uh, we'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Be a little bit patient because it's not short. It's long, but it's very educational. I'm sure you're gonna love what we did to it and all the information that's in it. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is Julio with Tint Action of Utah. And today we've got a 2021 Tesla Model Y. Uh, long range with the induction wheels, 20 inch. We're gonna be doing a couple of different things to it. We're gonna do the paint protection film on the full front end. We're also gonna do paint protection film on the lower part of the rear doors. Uh, we're gonna be doing the window tint, all the sides, the rear and the front windshield. We're gonna wrap the emblems in a matte military green. And to finish it off, we're going to wrap the center console satin black. And we're going to be going through all of the different details that are going to be important for you guys to know while you're getting these services done, whether it's here or at another shop. That way, when you get your vehicle back, it looks beautiful, it looks professional, and it's going to last you for a long time. We're going to start with the window tint on this Model Y. We're going to be doing all of the sides, the rear, and then the front windshield. Uh, as far as specifics for the front two doors, we're going to do our 30%. The rear doors, we're going to do the 20%. And then the front windshield is going to have the 70%. We're going to be doing all this with our Suntec ceramic. The ceramic film is the best film in the tint industry because of its high infrared heat reduction. Um, in case you're wondering, the back windows to our eyes, you're going to say, well, they're already tinted. Why do them? A couple of things, everything in the back, it has factory painted glass. So it doesn't do a great job with heat reduction or UV protection. That's why I recommend tinting all of the back ones. 20% um, is what we're doing on the back ones. So the final look is going to be about limo tint. So it's going to basically become twice as dark as what it is now. It'll give them more privacy. It's going to reduce a ton of heat and they're going to be more comfortable, especially if they have younger kids or babies. Um, for the front two doors, again, we're going to be doing the 30% ceramic, 70% on the windshield. A couple of things to keep in mind, these are frameless windows. So what's cool about these is that if the tin shop you're going to knows how to do it, these could get shaved. That means that there's virtually going to be no gap between the top edge of the film and the top edge of the glass. And it's gonna give you a very factory look where the edge is gonna look really clean. As far as the windshield, some shops don't wanna tint windshields. I understand it's, it's a risk that we all take. Um, on the Teslas, a couple of issues when you're tinting the windshield, if you don't know what you're doing, is you could have water damage. We've done uh, probably about 40 or more windshields on Teslas. We know how to protect the interior. That way there's no water damage. So it's really nothing that you have to worry about if you're going to a shop that has done it plenty of times and that knows what they're doing. So let's get into some of the window tint.
So now that we've tinted all of the side windows, we've let them sit for about two hours. Now we're ready to shave all of the edges and give it that factory look. All right, so we're getting ready to do the paint protection film on this Model Y. We're all done with the window tint. And one of the things that we do is we remove the emblem. That way there's no uh, cutouts around the emblem with the PPF. And it also avoids getting stretch marks. So typically we wrap this with a satin black, which actually matches the window trim uh, and everything else that Tesla is now doing with the Chrome Delete. Uh, but in this case, our customer wants to go with the matte military green. So that's the one we're gonna be doing there. All right guys, so next on the list is wrapping the center console. This is the refresh Model Y and just like the Model 3 refresh, we're coming out with the new center console. So we're gonna wrap it with the satin black. That way it matches all of the trim, including the seats. It's gonna look beautiful. Now that we're done wrapping the center console and doing the window tint, we've got the paint protection film left. We're gonna do the front end on this Model Y, entire hood, entire fenders, front bumper, back of the mirrors, and we're also gonna put some paint protection film on the lower portion of the rear doors. A couple of details to keep in mind that are gonna make the install look a lot better. We took off the front emblem, that way we could wrap it in that military green but also that way there's no cutout lines around the emblem and there's no stretch marks during the installation. And a couple other things, uh, we're gonna be taking out the housing for your camera on the fender. And we're also gonna take off this uh, molding that's around the wheel. That's gonna allow us to wrap the paint protection film as much as possible and it's gonna end up looking a lot better. We'll get into the details as we're going through every piece and that way you guys can know what to expect from your installation.
Now that we've done the paint protection film on the hood, the next step is trimming the edges. But we want to leave about a quarter of an inch, that way we can wrap them. That's going to be one of the most important details on the hood that you want to be aware of when you take it to a shop to get the service. All right, guys, so we're down to our final project on this Model Y. This is something that I really, really recommend you getting done. It's paint protection film on the lower portion of these rear doors. If you look at the rear door, the angle, especially here towards the back, it comes out a little bit. So we've seen Model Ys uh, after being driven 100 miles, 150 miles, and they're picking up a lot of rock chips in this area. I definitely recommend getting this done. It's not that much more to do. It's gonna save the paint on the back of your doors. When you get it done, make sure that they bring it up to this body line. That way it hides really well. Make sure that it's wrapped on all three sides. That way you can't even see it, but you're also getting protected. So stick around, we're gonna get it done. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. You're gonna be really, really happy that you got it done. Hey guys, so we're all finished up with this Tesla Model Y. It turned out great. You guys are gonna love what we did to it. I'm gonna be going through all of the details that are gonna be important for you guys while you're getting these services done. And it's actually gonna be the difference between getting a good job and getting a great job. So I'll start with the rear emblem here. We used our 3M 2080 wrapping film. Our client wanted to go with the matte military green. We removed the emblem completely that way we could wrap it and there was no chrome showing on the edges. Now we'll talk about the window tint. We used our Suntec ceramic film. All of the rear uh, windows are done in the 20%, which actually now gives it a limo look, still allowing you and your passengers to see out. So now with this limo look, you get a lot more privacy, you get a lot more glare reduction. Keep in mind that the factory painted glass has about a 20% depending on the manufacturer. So when you do 20% window tint on top of that factory painted glass, now you get the limo look, which is really, really nice to have. For our front windows, we did 30% ceramic. And this is one of the most important details while getting window tint done on your Tesla. Your windows don't have a frame, which means that you could actually shave the window tint 
giving your windows a factory look. And you don't wanna have a gap, especially when you have no frame on your glass. So keep that in mind, make sure that the shop that you did get it done at could do this for you. The front uh, windshield, we did 70% ceramic. It's not very dark, but it's gonna do a lot for you as far as protection and comfort. So with having a huge front windshield, the dash is black, it's gonna absorb a lot of heat. The benefit of window tint on the front windshield is 99% of the UV. You're gonna get above 80% of the infrared heat and above 45% of the radiant heat. So especially on those long road trips, it's gonna make it a lot more comfortable. I highly recommend getting your front windshield tinted. Moving on to the paint protection film, we'll start off here with the lower portion of the rear door. As you saw in the video, we use the body line to hide the paint protection film, especially when wrapping the edges, then you can't really tell it's there, but it's still gonna give you all the protection that this area needs because trust me, it's gonna get a lot of rock chips if you don't do it. Moving on to the paint protection film on the front here that we did with our SunTech Ultra, which has a 10 year nationwide warranty. We did the back of the mirrors. If you take it all the way to the edge, you can't really tell it's there, but you're getting all that protection. We did the entire hood, entire fenders, and then the front bumper. A couple of things that helped really turn this into a great job was the small details. So for example, we took off this plastic trim here. That way we took the paint protection film all the way on the inside, not only on the front fender, but also on the bumper. We took off the uh, housing for the camera on this fender. That way we were able to take the film all the way on the inside. You can't really see the edge. We wrapped it all the way in here on this top edge and in here as well. Same thing with the hood. It's entirely wrapped on the edges. Uh, and then as you guys saw on the video, we removed the front emblem, not only because we we're gonna wrap it with our matte military green, but also now you don't see any lines from a cutout. And also during the installation, you don't get any stretch marks in this area. So that's the best way of doing it. The front bumper is done entirely. We wrapped it all the way on the inside here, took it all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top edge here, and then all of the way to the bottom there, including wrapping all of the edges. I just wanted to go over the details that again are going to mark the difference between a good job and a great job. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, put it on the comments. We'll answer it as soon as possible. If you're interested in getting this or another service, we're located in Taylorsville in Utah. Phone number is 801-964-8468 or tintoactionofutah.com. Thanks again for watching guys.